that, um, we will move to board member updates. And uh, Mr. Gaines, your comments and recommendations. <coughs> The first uh, item here relates to this, this school board, this SAB, remaining consistent with school boards throughout the past. Uh, in terms of, I think we need to affirm that we will continue to support the uh, consolidated schools who have challenged the state foundation formula. There has been questions raised as to whether or not, because of the, con the construction of this board, we would do that. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm asking, no, I'm not asking, I'm moving. Uh, I move that we affirm that we will remain consistent uh, in terms of our support of this court, uh, this court, uh, this court action, this committee for educational equality at all versus state of Missouri at all, case number zero four CV three two three o two two. That case again involves two hundred and fifty different school boards or school systems across the state who have sued for uh, full funding of the foundation formula. Now the next one I'm going to ask for is directly related to that. Uh, because all of this relates to the money that this, this school system is not getting and one of the underwriting causes that there have been the budget shortfalls that the school system has suffered. I move uh, that we continue to support uh, and be a part of the, uh, the other 250 boards of education in this state that we have been a part of in the past. Mr. Gaines, I'd like to second that. Any discussion? Ms. Penrose? Ms. Adams? Approve. Mr. Gaines? Yes. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. The motion passes, sir. Similar to the first, there is a, as well a uh, court action that involves the desegregation, that devo involves the desegregation case. I will not go through all of the things associated with this, but I will simply say this case which is known as Board of Education at all versus the state of Missouri at all. Um, I don't think you'll have to walk out the room again with really. public, sir. All right. Uh, I think it's also important that we affirm that we will stay consistent in our support of this case as well. This has to do with the first case. It is necessary for this school system, it, it becomes necessary for this school system to be fully funded as a, as a um, final point of the desegregation case that we continue to fight consistently for the monies that we believe the school system is due from the uh, settlement of desegregation. I move that we continue, that we affirm the position of prior school boards in this position. Mr. Gaines, again, I'd like to second that motion. Any discussion? Ms. Penrose? Okay. I can't write it so she's <laughs> Ms. Adams. Approved. Mr. Gaines. Yes. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Your motion passes, sir.